Hi, today I'm going to be talking about my pool and beach bag essentials. I'm not going on a proper summer holiday this year, but I thought in case any of you guys are, this would really help you out. So I'm just going to show you what I would take with me if I were by a pool or a beach, which I'm not. I'm in my garden, but it's sunny, so that's good. I've got this nice big colourful bag here, and I was actually sent this with some beauty products, and it's from Primark, but I just thought it was really nice, so I thought I'd use it. I haven't really got a preference for beach bags, I just kind of use whatever I really have. This is a good little cheap one from Primark, and it's pretty with colourful stripes. So first I'll show you all the boring bits, and of course you're going to need flip-flops. My favourite ones are the ones from Hollister, and I have had these for years, seriously years. These ones are really soft and really comfy. I've got them soaking wet in Thailand and they've survived and I love them. I also like to take a kaftan or just a beach cover up with me because I'm not really one to walk around in my bikini. I find it a bit awkward. So I have this one I bought last year from Topshop. So they probably don't have it anymore, but they, Topshop always have really nice ones or Henny's or Primark, everywhere has them. This is just one, it has little sleeves and I quite like it because it's quite like a low V on the front. So it's quite flattering with a bikini. And then it goes in at the waist and goes to kind of mid thigh. It's just really loose. You can see the bikini you're wearing underneath. It's not hot, but it's got this pretty kind of orange and purple tie dye effect. And I love this. I wore it in Thailand and was really happy with it. And I'm excited to wear it again. I love to have magazines with me to read by the pool. Panine L is some of my favorites um, and Allure magazine. Whatever I really have on me, whatever I pick up in the airport on the way to my holiday. Towel, of course, I like to take my own towels on holiday, you never really know. It's good to have a good beach towel and um, then you don't have to worry about kind of finding one when you're there. And of course a bikini, this one is from Marks and Spencers, um, big boobed girls out there. Marks and Spencers do really good bikinis, um, I find it impossible to buy bikinis. I am not a perfect size, my boobs and my waist are completely different. And the ones that I think suit me the best are from m and I don't buy anything else from m and but they do really good bikinis, it's so weird. I also like to take one of these kind of wired hair bands with me, so it's fabric but it's got wire inside. Um, my hair, as you guys know, is very curly and frizzy, so when I'm on the beach or by the pool, it's curly, it's not straight, and when it dries out it can go very frizzy, with frizzy bits all over the place. So if I'm going to tie my hair up, I like to have one of these, so I can just kind of go like this, this is going to look awful, but just tie it like that, and it kind of looks cute and it keeps all your frizzy bits at bay. Sorry, ice cream van just drove down my road. As I was saying, I don't really know where you can buy these. I think I got mine from Camden Market. I also have to have my sunglasses. I'm a real squinter. I'm probably squinting now and it's not even sunny. I have the Ray-Ban Wayfarers. I really love them. I never take them off. Love these. Okay, so now onto the beauty stuff. And I don't like to sunbathe with a face of makeup on. When I'm on the beach or by the pool, I just look rough and accept that I look rough. But there are some kind of essential beauty bits that I like to have on me and I don't want to look completely horrific. So although I don't wear a full face of makeup, there are a few bits I like to take with me to the pool or the beach. Of course you need sun cream. I am just such a sun cream person. It really annoys me when people don't wear sun cream or they wear like a factor five oil or something. This one is from Sultan. Um, I think Sultan sun cream is really good. They specialize in it. I've never had any problems with it. I think it rubs into the skin really well and yeah, I like it. I actually don't normally go for the ones with the sprays. I have a spray this time, but these can break, so I prefer the kind of lotion ones instead. But I saw this the other day and thought it looked quite interesting. It's the Protect and Tan. So it's SPF 30, which is high, UVA, all of that stuff. But it says it also supports the skin's natural tanning. It says it's formulated with an innovative ingredient that helps stimulate your body's natural tanning production. No idea if that's true or not, but it sounds pretty cool and you're getting SPF 30 anyway, so even if the tanning bit doesn't work, you're still protected. And um, yeah, really like soul tan. In this little clear bag, I like to keep all my beauty bits. This bag with the little um, airplane on is really cute. It's from the Clear Bag Store, which is an online website. So I keep everything in there so it's not flying around in my bag and I just grab it if I need anything. I'm just going to pull stuff out so there's no particular order. The first thing is the Label M Protein Spray and this is a little travel size. And this is good because it protects your hair, it's got like UV protection so if you have coloured hair this will protect you from the sun making your hair colour go funny or making it lighter. And um, when I get out of the water my hair's wet and it looks great and curly and then it dries and it looks horrific. So a spray like this is quite good to just kind of keep the moisture in and stop it from going dry and frizzy and brittle and all of that. So I always have some kind of hair product on me, whether it's this or an oil or anything like that. 
I have a separate SPF for my face. You don't really need one. If you have normal skin, you can use your sun cream on your face, and I do sometimes as well. But it's nice to also have kind of a face one, and I like to wear a higher SPF on my face. So I've been using the Kiehl's Ultralight Daily UV Defense SPF 50, and I would use this on holiday as well. Um, I use a higher SPF on my face because obviously I don't want to get wrinkly, leathery skin, and your face is just a bit more sensitive, so I like to wear SPF 50 is a really nice one it rubs in really easily Anna recommended this to me and yeah I really like it I like to have a deodorant on me because you're in and out of the sea in and out of the pool I'm not like a smelly person but you never know and it's nice to have a deodorant just in case this is the Dove maximum protection one it's a cream one and I think cream ones make you kind of stay dry better than like the wet roll-ons so I think this is good but it's quite expensive for deodorant I also like to keep my travel sized Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray and not really to set my makeup. Sometimes like if I go to the beach or the pool I might put a bit of concealer on in the morning. I don't really take it with me but I might put some under my eye, around my nose and my chin. But I like this also as just like a refreshing spray but um, if you are just using it as a refreshing spray don't invest in Urban Decay one. You can get from Boots like the Evian sprays or the La Roche-Posay water sprays and they're really nice as like a refreshing mist so I always have something like that in my bag whether it's this or my La Roche-Posay one which I couldn't find which is why I put this one in the video. I also like to keep wipes with me. I don't use wipes to remove my makeup but I do like them as a kind of refresher. If you are on the beach and you're going in and out of the sea you can get that kind of salty thing on your skin. I always have a shower when I get out of the sea for my hair and my skin but it's nice to have wipes as well and just kind of put over your face if you're feeling a bit sweaty we don't need to go into it you know why wipes are good as i said i don't really wear makeup i do like to keep a little bit of kind of blush or color just in case if i have got a tan then i don't bother but if i'm still at that kind of awkward pale stage it's nice to have something just to put on your cheeks to make you look alive and less dead and i really like the josie moran coconut watercolor cheek gilet and i think this would be really good um, i'm not sure if it's waterproof but the texture is really kind of soft and easy to blend so you won't look like you've got like blusher and nothing else on it would just look like a really natural flush and because it's in this little pot it won't kind of melt away and I just think this is a nice small size to keep in your beach bag. Similar to the wipes I always keep a hand sanitizer on me I do when I'm in London I do when I'm on holiday I always have one on me and the one I've been loving at the moment is the cow shed cow pat which is a horrible name um, but I really like this because it's completely different to any other hand sanitizer I've tried it feels like a hand cream as soon as you put it on it's just really moisturizing it doesn't feel stripping doesn't smell of alcohol it actually smells amazing it smells like a spa it's so nice whenever I put it on people always comment saying like wow what's that smell it's just really moisturizing and a little bit more expensive than a normal hand sanitizer but if you use them as much as I do it's worth investing. A few more beauty bits, um, if you do kind of get puffy around the eyes, I know some people when they're kind of going in and out of water and they're in the heat and stuff you can get kind of puffy under here and something that I've really enjoyed using recently for puffy eyes is the Origins No Puffery Cooling Roll-On for Puffy Eyes. They had this in just the kind of squeezy form but they've recently brought one out with a nice cooling rollable kind of silver tip at the top and and I really like this just rolling under your eyes and it probably be quite hard to keep cool if you're by the pool or by the beach but the metal thing does keep quite cool even when it's not in a cool place oh I've said cool so many times but this is really good and refreshing I also like to use an SPF on my lips because lips do burn quite easily um, even when I don't get my lips burnt I don't really burn ever because I'm so obsessed with SPF but they do get a little bit kind of sore and the skin on your lips is just really delicate so I've been using this number seven um, oh where's the packaging we have to read the name lip and eye screen SPF 30 so I saw this recently and thought lip okay lip sunscreen but eye sunscreen and basically it's a little wind up it looks like concealer but it comes out as a clear product but it's slightly shimmery so you can use this on your lips it kind of looks like a nice lip balm you can also use it on your eyelids which is actually somewhere where I think people forget to put sun cream because you don't really want to put your lotion on your eyes in case it goes in your eye so this is perfect because you can put it on your eyelid it looks like a nice kind of light shimmery eyeshadow you can put on your lips and it comes in this really cute little lipstick form so I'm really impressed with that and it's SPF 30 and I think I'll be using this like all the way through the summer especially if I go away I really hope I get to go away um, so yeah really impressed with that also this is not an essential but if you're going somewhere nice on holiday with your friends and you want to kind of smell nice when you're by the pool a roll-on perfume it would be a good idea this one is from Le Soft Perfume you can get them at Colt Beauty there's loads of different scents and they are so cute I've done a blog post so I'll link that below they come in a little packaging like this and you take the lid off and it just looks like that and you can kind of roll it up this is Copacabana which just smells really fresh and soapy and lovely but there's so many different scents and I love these they last 
a long time. You can just put them on your wrists, on your neck, um, anywhere you want really. And because they're kind of a waxy formula, they're probably waterproof as well. So this would be good if you're by the pool. The last thing in this little bag are loads of hair clips. As I was saying, my hair just goes mental. It's way worse than Monica from Friends. Trust me, way worse. So I have loads of curvy grips and I have another little clip and hair bands and everything. And they still look a mess, but I try. A couple more things um, in my bag. Now, I don't use this because you know I have such difficult hair, but I think a lot of people do like this, and it's sun in. I don't know if you guys remember this, this just reminds me of being a teenager, because all my friends used it, I was really jealous. But if you have kind of blonde or light brown hair, you can spray this in, and it's got lemon extract in it. So when the sun goes on your hair, it makes it blonder. I know a lot of people just put lemon in their hair as well. It's probably not very recommended and it might dry out your hair, but if you have like really good quality hair and you want some blonde streaks in and you don't want to get your hair dyed, I think this would work, but I'm not recommending it. I don't use it. I just think it's quite cool and quite fun if you're going on holiday and you want to get some kind of blonde streaks in your hair. The last thing is my little bag from And Other Stories, which I think must be waterproof because it's called a scuba bag. I think it's made out of the same materials as a scuba diving suit. And in here I just keep my portable phone charger, my phone and my headphones for listening to music to on my phone. I don't always keep my music on my phone, but I'll load it all on before holiday so I don't have to take an iPod separately. What else? Chewing gum. And that's everything. That's my empty bag. That sounds like a lot of stuff, but if you're going to spend a whole day by the beach or by the pool, you don't want to be going back and forth to your hotel or apartment or wherever you're staying, so I like to have everything with me. It makes the whole thing a lot more relaxing. So I hope you found that helpful. If you are going on holiday, have a lovely time. I'm very jealous, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hi, today I'm going to be talking you through my favourite summer nail polishes. First of all, sorry if there's any background noise, it is like the hottest day of the year 